Hi, I'm Jim Nelson of Photography Travel Tours, and uh, today I'd like to give a review of a piece of luggage uh, for uh, an upcoming trip that I'm going on, two and a half months in Europe. Um, as photographers, we, we have the uh, dilemma that we have to carry some extra equipment other than our clothing and so forth. And in my case, I, I have quite a bit of weight uh, in addition to my luggage, and so I try to get my other items weight down and one of the one of the biggest things you can do is try to reduce the weight of your piece of luggage and uh, so today I'm going to talk about this uh, pack made by Osprey and uh, Osprey is noted for its lightweight backpacking equipment but they've also now started to make luggage and uh, this particular pack I bought for my wife uh, for our upcoming trip and the current piece of luggage that she's carrying is nine pounds um, and it's uh, this particular pack uh, the Osprey uh, Ozone 28 is five pounds, so it's really lightweight. It's almost half the weight of her piece of luggage. It's not quite as big, uh, but this should be uh, big enough. It's 4,900 cubic inches. It's certainly going to be big enough for me. There usually is a difference between uh, what women and men pack. Uh, of course, there's probably men that pack more than my wife. Um, so the, the biggest thing about this pack is the weight. It's uh, five pounds. It's just amazing. Uh, comes in this green color as well as a gray and they also make two I think they make two versions of the ozone series that are actually smaller than this I think they make one that you could actually uh, fit into the uh, carry-on uh, category on the airplane um, but uh, there's a very simple pack very straightforward there's not too many bells and whistles on it which is really nice it's very simple uh, first of all on the outside uh, on each side of the pack is a uh, compression strap. There's one here. Um, I have it cinched up. And then there's one on this side over here. And the nice thing about these compression straps, in addition to the fact that if you're carrying a, a lighter load, you can cinch them up. But the, the nice feature I like about this is it's kind of a security measure. Um, you have your main zipper here that gets into the main compartment. I have had a pack years ago when I was traveling and that particular zipper went out. Uh, I was really in, in, a, in a tough situation um, because there was no way to secure this lid now. If this zipper did happen to go out, you can al always use these compression straps and it'll actually hold that lid in place until you can get to a position where you can get it fixed or get some kind of um, material to go around that to secure it. So if you release these straps before you open up the main compartment, uh, there are two compartments uh, on the outside. There's one on each side of the pack of, of the lid. There's one here. And it's quite big. Um, makes it really nice for organizing uh, your, your luggage and uh, putting it into compartments. There's one over here on this side as well. And then inside the main uh, compartment. It's a very straightforward, very simple layout. It has uh, straps here for securing your load. It also has um, pockets on each side along the length. In this case there's a, a solid fabric pocket here and then on this side it's a mesh pocket here. So I don't know, that might be for dirty clothes or whatever. And then there's also a big mesh pocket here on the uh, inside of the lid. So pretty straightforward on the inside. Uh, it also has a pocket on the top of the pack here. And I think this material here is, is uh, waterproof. It kind of looks like it. So it'd be pretty handy. There's quite a bit of room in there. Things that you want to have quick access to like a, a novel or a passport or, or a water bottle and so forth. Or maybe some wet uh, swimming trunks. And then one of the features that I really like about the Ozone, uh, or I should say the lightweight travel packs from Osprey, is this, this feature back here. By the way, it, it does have wheels on it, which is really essential for me as I get older, and a handle. So this particular area back in here oftentimes on wheeled luggage is just kind of um, space that isn't used. In this case, Osprey has done this really nice uh, compartment right here. It's actually quite roomy. I put my sandals in here. Um, you know, they might have street dust on them. I don't want them to mix with my luggage. 
Uh, you can cram all kinds of things in there, books, laptop even. Um, and this, actually, this particular pack is similar to a pack also that Osprey used to make. It's the Vector 25. And it's also a lightweight pack, but this particular pack is actually smaller capacity than the Ozone. Um, it's a 3600 cubic versus 4900 cubic inch, and it weighs about a pound and a half more. So this particular piece of luggage I use, and I love it. It's still lightweight, and it is big enough for me. I can actually fit my tripod in here when I'm uh, flying. Um, and uh, take by taking the tripod head off and, and packing it separately. So it's a very similar pack. Um, it's got the features uh, just like this one with the area in the back for storage. And uh, so I'm really excited about this particular product as a way to save weight and uh, I'm looking forward to giving it uh, uh, a test here on our next trip, two and a half month trip to Europe. Hey, thanks a lot, um, Vector and not Vector, Osprey Ozone 28. I think it's gonna be a really great pack.